find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Gentlemen, welcome to the Awesome Cast Live from from what studios? From from Studio Room C. C. From Studio Room C at the lovely Pod Camp Pittsburgh X. We gotta make the arm, the arm X X. We are live. This is the last session. Uh, I am Mike Sorg, live from Pittsburgh, PA at P- Pod Camp Pittsburgh. And with me in Studio Room C of Podcamp Pittsburgh, uh, of course, John Chichilla to my right. Uh, which, which I go look wherever you know look what's wherever up. I want. You can look I'm there, right there, and I'm going to switch and it up. I'm and you're there. there, and then you're on there, and then you're over nice. there. Hi, hi, <laughs> Katie. You're just going to have to like just sidestep that uh, the awesome cast thing. You were slouching when I set up. So fix right. that. It's all right. That's okay. I'm going to go away. How you doing, Chilla? Pretty good. How are you doing? All right. It's a busy couple days. All right, I was hoping you'd vamp a little bit. <laughs> I'd vamp? <laughs> you'd vamp a little bit. Let's fix this live podcasting. Also with us, as we're trying not to cut her head off, it's at, at K Dutters on the Twitter. Katie, do this. Hi, guys. Hi. You have, you have, we'll have nothing to add. This there is she is. <laughs> Dead air. There it is. Ah, there it this is. is fun. So, how are you enjoying Pod Camp? Oh, it's fantastic. I'm having a blast. I always do. I always it's learn always so good. much. And I love when I go and make all kinds of new friends. And I'm like, this is awesome. I get new people to learn from and talk to and share experiences with. I'm like, yay. Awesome. Of course, this is your awesome cast. We're over at uh, awesomecast.net. You can follow us, awesomecast, on the Twitters, as you can see if you're watching on the video on the screen. Um, and also, we're on the uh, Facebooks, on the Google Plus for as long as that's going to survive, whatever. Uh, <laughs> and you can subscribe to us on audio and video formats. Stitcher, iTunes, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, uh, YouTube, and other places deep, deep in the dark regions of the internet that I don't know that we've been uh, populated. Oh, I'm sure there's some of the videos There's like there. Japanese websites, and I'm worried about the other content that might also be on it too. So there's that. Good job um, without the notes. What's that? Good job without the notes. I, I don't look at the notes anymore. I'm just like every, I'm working. I'm weaning myself off notes, and it's going to be bad when we have any sponsors and stuff. Uh, but but for the time being, um, I'm great for no preparedness. I decided to do a session instead of preparing for this podcast beforehand. So oh, yeah. I was it was it was it was really interesting. Um, so I guess we usually start the show with an awesome thing of the week. Uh, so I think uh, we should do an awesome thing of the podcast. In, 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 in the meantime, do you guys have one you want to start off with? Do you want me to go? You go first. Oh, hi. Um, I think my awesome thing has been uh, how much we've learned at our sessions. I was I did a social media one and a podcasting one yesterday. And then the um, Meerkat, uh, what, what did we call it? Meerkat something. It was, it was written on the other one. Okay, oh my. It's not on the list. Um, the Meerkat. Instacast. Instacast, thank you. I was like, Meerkat. Uh, the thing we made up at the last yeah, session. Snapchat. Yeah. Yeah. And um, no, but I think the my awesome thing was uh, how much we learned from our awesome audience at that point because it was everybody a lot of good feedback, a lot of good. Hey, this is what I do, and I'm like, oh, that's awesome because I, I have mm-hmm. I'm I, I struggle with the term, you know, the, the social media expert term because mm-hmm. I think we're all learning all the time and. And I think that's the best part about it. I learned that we almost fought over how to use Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> and You're like, exactly, the kids are using I'm it. I'm trying like, no, not to. Be- I'm, I'm trying to be very pointed in my points, but I'm trying. I, I, I don't want it to come off as this is the way you do this thing yeah. because I'm the one telling you. And you're like, actually, I disagree on that. I'm like, good. Tell me how I'm, how <laughs> Get I'm wrong. Get off my lawn. <laughs> but it's exactly like so many of these things are just like, just because I do it this way and it worked for me or I think it's going to work for you. And hey, the Wi-Fi popped up. Um, or, or some <laughs> go away. Go away, you Wi-Fi. You won't be able to get it to go away Jeez. unless you... Um, oh, there we go. There, there we go. go. Um, <laughs> tricked it. But, but the, like, the, you know, that idea that... Uh, now I can't switch. Uh, what's going on I had here? to shut off my Wi-Fi to get it to go oh, away earlier. Oh, no. The Borg. You must become part of the Point Park <laughs> Wi-Fi or else. Um, but, but no, like... like y- it's not the only way, you know. I, I talked about video podcasting. I talked about the ways I recommend video podcasting. I hate the term. I gotta remember to take that off the schedule next year. Um, and and 
But there's so many other ways. There's so many other sites, and people will have your this. Well, yeah, of course, you know, there there are other sites or other services, um, but these are the ones I know, and we're just imparting what we know about how these work. And uh, and I think that's really important to remember. There needs to be some kind of disclaimer somewhere, somewhere. on that. Well, so. I think it just and the other thing is is just because you're not using it doesn't mean somebody else is. Right. And I think that's the most important thing I've learned with social media is just because I think it's something is ridiculous, it, for example, a lot of people hate QR codes and still hate <laughs> QR codes, but there are people who absolutely love them and if that's what your customers or your audience and community wants, then you have to give your There's people that want QR codes? Yeah, yeah. They have a lot of uses. You uh, magazines people. really want you to use their QR codes mm-hmm. and they'll probably upsell you on that. I almost got violently I'm like I, I'm like they're presenting in this meeting and I'm just like mm, da, 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 da. <laughs> no I see a lot of QR code use it's just then I have to go grab a QR code reader I feel bad and see that's where I think know, things I, like I, glass I, work well I feel bad because like like so many people are excited about QR codes and they can do this thing and and and, and, and there are good uses of QR codes it's you know it's uh, it's like the Gary Vaynerchuk thing like uh, marketing ruins everything. Um, uh, the social media with with QR codes have a great idea, but marketing has killed it. And now you're like, why do I even care? I guess it's to me the the user experience when going to have to go read one and then I have to go right. download no, a reader horrible. and it's, it's horrible. horrible. That's because you don't use it, but somebody has it already right. on their phone. So if I don't use but, it, but see that's where I think that Microsoft has solved that and Google Glass solved that, mm-hmm. where it automatically read it. Mm-hmm. Right. So right. Microsoft's camera app will automatically read any QR code. So how like does the normal person you know? The, the, the average person that doesn't install apps on their Android right. device, you know, I had a, I had a guy that was like you know, a doctor, and I'm like, he's like, why isn't, uh, why can't I use Square on my phone? I'm like, well, you have to download it. The, the, the credit card reader is Square. He's like, why does this work on my phone? And he's got like a Samsung something or other, right? And and I'm like, oh, you have to go download it from the App Store. He never set up the App Store on, on Google Play, and he's mm-hmm. had it for a few months. And he's like, well, I paid so much for this phone, I should have it already. I'm like. Ah, that's not how it works. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, I mean, that, there's that disconnect. And mm-hmm. those are the people that we're trying to talk to with these technologies and medias and everything here, PodCamp and beyond. And you got to remember, people aren't on even that level a lot of times, you know. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know. I, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, but uh, there's Uh-oh. a certain gentleman who has a drinking um, website, a you know, should whether or not you should drink something. I hear he does but, a podcast sometimes. Yes, and and I can I've noticed his business cards have QR codes, but I'm not going to mention any names. Should I drink that, Doug? <laughs> but and yeah, the so. and the upcoming should I uh, X uh, Empire? Uh, should I eat that? Should I park that? We came up with last Ooh, night. Should I yeah, park that? yeah, yeah. Somebody almost got hurt. Uh, I wonder if you can. I wonder if you can calculate the the click through on our or a, the. The use of the, the QR code. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Okay, now we're going to get technical. Okay, <laughs> all the QR code does, and all that ends up, because that's what pisses me off, is you click on it, you spend a lot of time. I pulled up my phone, I took a picture of a thing, and all it went to was, was, was uh, uh, Ford.com. You know, mm-hmm. like whatever the thing is, dot com, and nothing special, nothing specific, right? Now you can track that because you can put a little tracker code at the end of there. Well, however your site manages that, because okay. I mean, like, like you know, you notice everything has a referral when you go to YouTube mm-hmm. and click off of somewhere else, right? Like you can put, the, you can develop that little thing, and that's part of that QR code address people go to. Um, people don't bother with that. That's the problem, okay. and they don't even know. Um, Oh, I don't want to get into the whole print marketing rant, but um, <laughs> uh, put a QR would, code would you... on a zombie and make you chase him around the city. <laughs> See, that could be part of a game kind of thing, though. That's mm-hmm. fun. Yeah, there's scavenger hunts that's that are fun. QR code based. Something, yeah, like a scavenger mm-hmm. hunt. But then the biggest thing I go back to is the uh, Pennsylvania Coin Op and Video Game Hall of Fame, in up there by uh, I think I got all the words in there. Uh, up by uh, begins with an A. Uh, up 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 past the airport somewhere. Uh, up by Hopewell. Um, Aspen Wall. What's the one over there? Anyways, it doesn't matter. Most people are in Aliquippa. Aliquippa. Thank you. This is why we do a show. I with can't an even audience. think of Ambridge. It's <laughs> right next to it. That's. I was thinking of Ambridge. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but right. it's. A, but they have QR codes on the machines, and you go QR code it, and you get more information on the on the history. You know, Very some cool. of them are just like, oh, here's the uh, advertising art for this pinball machine, and some of it was like the Tron machine that was like, you know, we put this special rumbler on, and it was an aftermarket part, and there's like an actual history to it. You know, that's a really cool use of that. Mm-hmm. Museums QR codes make so much sense, and it's easier than 
the technology of you know having that that you know that Fire thing that the 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 um showing off your fancy watch um That's you know have, having the 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 headsets or something mm-hmm. like that that they have to put in and i don't know if anybody even uses that you know everybody has this right here on their computer on their phone so mm-hmm. but, awesome anything else uh, awesome you want to include there or it's your turn it's my turn is it you is it me yeah I, 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 what's awesome, awesome. so my, my awesome thing at pod camp is the replay that's my favorite part is i can go back and watch any of <laughs> any of, of, the, of the sessions. Mm-hmm. Like there's other sessions I wanted to see that I didn't get to make it to. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, being able to go out and watch those at any time, mm-hmm. um, I'm sure. We'll, I think you're probably posting them. Yes. No. What? What? Something. The actual replays. I, well, I, <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that went. Uh, okay. You know, it helps if you make sure you hit record on every camera before you did your own <laughs> session. Um, but uh, no, everything will at least be on Hangout in some fashion. Um, and 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 they didn't want any recognition. But I want to give a shout out to uh, uh, Alex and Lindsay and the Pixel Cores who provided the crew that's been doing Room A. Um, I was like, do you oh, want nice. to Do you want anything? And I was like, no, no recognition. I just want to help. I'm like, which I feel kind of bad because like I have my logo over everything. Um, and uh, but but I'm going to make sure and post. It's like, no, this was a Pixel Core production. Awesome. This bit. And you'll notice they came with a lot more equipment than I do. <laughs> so, um, but I mean, they're they're a crew that's been doing um, like. I mean, they they do hangouts for very very important people, and so that you know, even if I think there was a cra- kind of a training crew that came in and did did room A, and I threw my camera in there just as a backup because like we almost didn't have internet this morning, which kills all that Google Hangout issue, right? Um, and a lot of presentations presentations would have been very difficult <laughs> when we're doing some of this technology stuff. Um, but no, they, it's been awesome. I actually so we're using YouTube Live or Google Hangout depending on the room. Point Park. Um, <laughs> I can't even get to my Wi-Fi because my screen shrunk so much. But anyways, um, but the, yeah, you can. Uh, 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 I went home and and I pulled it up on my computer. And I was actually rewatching uh, Justin's Justin Kanaki's keynote. Okay. Already. Mm-hmm. Cool. I mean, and even live while we're streaming this, the beautiful thing is you can go back in the feed mm-hmm. and like, oh, it's like two o'clock. I missed the. 10 a.m. and somebody sitting at home can go back and check that. So I, I really want to see dear social media. I hate you. I know. <laughs> I'm really. What, I what is that? That's. I think that's Amanda, and uh, I think it was. It was about the because uh, I know um, um, scheduling is a bane for me. Okay. You know, especially after the podcast and everything. Um, I, I've, I've talked about how much time I spend on that these days, and uh, I think she's addressing a lot of that and how to handle it. Right. Cool. So yeah, there's a, a coffee shop um, that's in Beachview. Um, brews on Broadway or brew on Broadway and you can probably catch Sorg and I there and th- there's days where I'm going how do you do this oh, I that can't was amazing. social <laughs> the day where you're trying to figure out Hootsuite and, and the, Instagram the Instagram thing oh. like uh, and I feel like there's the other people like like there's like there's an old lady that comes in there and then she's just like I don't get this and she's holding like a phone and a tablet and has a laptop in front of it's just like it's it's, it's got to and I'm just sitting there like you're cool it's all right it's probably jacked up anyways it's cool it's all right yeah it was hootsuite it wasn't me but yeah yeah I'm like I, I can't imagine like and I don't talk I barely talk to anybody else in there but I just go up and work because it's three blocks away and it just like I'm like the worst like community coffee shop patron ever probably I, like I have a card system and I don't even participate participate in that um but <laughs> yeah yeah but it's like, like i said it's my, my wednesday is basically mm-hmm. the after effect of making sure people knew i did a podcast on tuesday night and now i have four or five of them i'm putting up you know so i mean there's that kind of thing but as p- many people have told me i need to go to fiverr or get an intern or something <laughs> so, uh, so thank you everybody that's given me options after this weekend i have a lot of people i need to follow up on so but uh, is it my turn? It's your turn. Yes. It's my turn. Oh, geez. I haven't had time to think about anything uh, this weekend. Um, no, my favorite thing is it's almost over and I can get some sleep. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. We only knew. Um, speaking of it, I got to do a podcast by, by Tuesday. So, um, so, so for me, it was really awesome to kind of see that kind of, you know, everybody coming back. I was there at the first pod camp. Um, it was really something really awesome. Really spurred a lot of things. It let me know I was kind of on the right track with something, because we were six months in at the time. Well, maybe not even more than that. Uh, doing the Wrestling Mayhem show, this brand new thing. We didn't have iPhones. It was still hard to do this stuff, right? It was really hard to do this stuff. I don't think people get how easy it is to start something. That's why we're talking about just start something. 
record something. Don't. Brogan says something. You know, everybody asks like, what microphone? I don't know how many times in a session I kept getting asked what microphone to use, and I and he said the thing I wish I could have just said. It doesn't freaking matter. It, Whatever you have with you, get a microphone. I recorded a podcast on this thing the other day because we we're at lunch and realized we had no time to do it the right way. Right? Just do it. it, it yes, you can mull over the technical de- details, but those technical details are the thing that get in your way of doing the thing. You got to get past that, you know. It's okay, guys. We started on PC mics. It's okay. I've screwed up more times than anything. Hopefully this goes okay. You know how many times I've screwed up a live broadcast like this? Our 200th episode of this show was jacked up. The stuff didn't work that I brought. And then we're like, okay, that kind of works now. You know, you're going to... You're gonna fuck it up, guys. Okay, that's this you know isn't what? the wrestling mayhem show. Uh, I don't care. I'll, I might, I might need that later. But that, that that should be like that should be a session. You're gonna f it up, guys. Okay, uh, and 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 that's okay. Um, and you'll learn from that and have a better podcast or video show or video blog or blog or Facebook or whatever. That should be another podcast. Is what's the most embarrassing thing you've done on social media or oh, in your life? Oh jeez, I could do a blog. You know, yeah. there's that one time like, no, 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 we're not getting into that. That's a whole, we'll save that content. Um, but 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 the, the, the awesome thing is uh, kind of as part of that kind of validation that hey, cool, podcast still happening. You know, I had somebody a couple years ago uh, kind of close say, why are you doing podcast? Why don't you just let it die? To me. And I'm like, we can't, and people want to see this. Mm-hmm. I believe in the concept. And to see K- Justin Kanaki, who co-founded PyCamp Pittsburgh, drive his happy ass up here from Baltimore <laughs> and deal with our traffic <laughs> again that he's yeah. escaped. Um, to see Chris Brogan, Brogan that co-founded. Notice, we can only get 50% of the founders here. Uh-huh. Have you noticed that? You well, know? that's because they're all the same people. Yeah, they're, oh, they're the same. <laughs> it's all the same people. We just, we Have don't you believe seen Brogan different. and Kanaki in the same room when they're not drinking? That's the, that's the, that's the question right there. Um, but no, seriously, like that, like that we've kind of kept alive, and they're coming back and, and, and saying, holy crap, you're still here. Holy crap, this is happening. And, hey, do you remember MySpace? Um, you know, I mean, that's that's really cool to... The, uh, I guess it's a validation, you know, maybe as an organizer, it's a validation we're doing something. <laughs> the fact that we had, um, this has been the most, I don't know how many actually showed up, I haven't seen the numbers on the app, but I know the pre-registrations, which were strong this week leading into it, um, were the most that we've had register pre-register at this location, which I think we've been here, this is our fifth year maybe, if I have the numbers right. That's awesome. So that tells us it's not tapering away. It is still strong. People want this type of information and sharing to happen um because we're just like maybe we should just turn it into something else and now we know uh, apparently i did i wasn't part of this part but apparently there will be a pod camp 11 and there's a date very soon coming up so oh wow we've never we have never had a date as soon usually it's at this point everybody's like when's pod camp 11, pod camp 11 and it's like or next pod camp, and we're like, don't, we'll don't figure even, it out. Don't even Six talk. From now. Don't even talk to me about the next pod camp. Everybody's just like, so like, I'm done. Let's move on, and, uh, and or let's not move on, and everything, you know. And and now it's just like, all right, let's see you next year, guys. You know, not a question. It's happening, and it's it's. I'll tell you, pod camp almost didn't happen a couple of years. Especially last year. <laughs> yeah, that was six weeks. But anyways. Um, yeah, that's me. I don't know. What else is kind of like not the most awesome thing, but what else is kind of picked up? What, what kind of sessions kind of stuck out in your mind over, over this weekend that you attended or taught? I, taught, taught. I, know, <laughs> I didn't go to any sessions. I just taught them. <laughs> um, I actually, I learned a lot about WordPress this weekend. Really? Which was pretty awesome because I am not what I would call proficient in WordPress. Okay. I can, you know, psh, psh, psh. And I could put up a site and it looks whatever, but learning a lot of the, the plugins and things. And I know we've been talking about what you should do, what should your blog be, what should your WordPress be, mm-hmm. how are you representing yourself on there and splitting it up into the mm-hmm. things you do. So is that a little clearer now? or are you? Just yes, kinda... and then there's uh, WordPress PGH. There's a, a meetup. There is. There that is. I was like, ooh, let's I be friends. I believe that's why I retweet that a lot from the PodCamp account. It's, awesome I think games. it's WPPGH is the Twitter handle, mm-hmm. WordPress PGH. And, uh, yeah, the, the crew from there is just great. And, and during one of our sessions, uh, the blogging session, they were 
interjecting things. And it was like, oh, awesome, thank you. It explains this to me. And mm-hmm. But I really I want to attend one of those because there's just – I know there's so much to offer in WordPress. And, you, you know, you just, it's sometimes if you're, you're not proficient in something and you just kind of go through – I mean, you figure things out, but there's mm-hmm. not – the, the comfort level there. I think it's when you when you figure things out as you're trying to go through them and you're just trying to get through the next <laughs> panel and the configuration and it's you need to go back and figure out all, what all of the options are and when it, to your point when it comes to a lot of the plugins mm-hmm. I mean there's just so much out there what's the best mm-hmm. and I think that's where you, this kind of set setting gets the gets everyone saying oh I use this I mm-hmm. like this I like the wire app I like the, the all the different pieces and bits of information you can get mm-hmm. in talking to people that's where I think the value of podcast comes out that yeah, I don't think is. you can recreate in a virtual environment or in any other kind of environment. It's one of those things where you actually have to be here. That's Wait, the... we have to be face to face and actually have conversation yes. with people? Yes, <laughs> when, when possible. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually had a conversation at uh, dinner last night about that and how it's just, the, it's not the same when you're having these online and um, you know social conversations, but when you're in person, it's just so much more and mm-hmm. it's like... Psh, 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 psh. And I kind of, I actually just wrote a blog about this for uh, for the <laughs> newsletter uh, this past weekend. It's all weekend. about you today, do you know um, <laughs> But it reinforces that. I think I think the social media, you know, we often talk about us, our, our Twitter friends, right? Mm-hmm. If we ran each other at a pod camp and then we started talking online, it lifted a veil of uh, you know, would you really be hanging out with each other if you just met face to face? We're like, I'm not going to talk to that girl. She doesn't seem like the kind of person I talk to. And now, like we like talk about wrestling online and stuff, and Katie and I hang out with all the time. You know, mm-hmm. uh, and then you chill and everybody. You know, I mean, it, it, you know, I look at. Uh, it's 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 a starting point. You know, it's an enabler. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think if you have that opportunity. It will just solidify those relationships if you have the chance so much more. If you can get together and do a pod camp, a blog fest, a meetup.com, you know. And, and I just encourage so many people. And, and I understand people are sometimes, you know, Pittsburgh, I think we're very, very fortunate that we have such a strong community. But, but you know, what do you do when you're in, I mean, is how's Akron? You know, mm-hmm. I am a blogger in Akron, Ohio. Are there a lot of Akron bloggers? And now I'm going to find out. On Twitter, when they get this, um, I'm completely an awesome caster from Brock and Akron. Um, but 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 still, you have that chance, or maybe that's something you you just go to Cleveland or you go to Pittsburgh and, and, and grow that a little bit more. I mean, we've had people come down from Erie, you know, mm-hmm. for instance, Locabone, as insane as he is, that just comes down and visits, gives us ten bits, and leaves two hours later back to Erie, um, you know, like that that kind of thing. But I think it says, says something that you just like, hey, all the people in Pittsburgh are so cool and I like hanging with them and I talk with them all the times on Twitter and that's so strong because of Twitter, I'm going to bring them some Timbits, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, so, I mean, it's just like an awesome, awesome example of that. I, I swear every year I come to pod camp and there's always at least one, sometimes more people where I go, holy cow, that's you. Like I'll see their, exactly. their handle and I'll be like, holy cow, I right. talk to you all the time. That's who you are? And right, then I'm right, like, oh, right. daughter, it's nice to meet you. And it's the best thing because it's just like, oh, wow, you're a real person. <laughs> right, right. I, I, I had that yes. Well, I had that a little bit yesterday because I started talking with the uh, the, the bar jutsu jutsu guys mm-hmm. on Twitter going into it. And I'm just like, oh, you're my kind of people. And he, the guy like even like stood up and asked a question and, and said how he used to be a wrestler or something. I was like, oh. And then today I saw him with the shirt and I'm like, you're the dude I'm talking to, you know? And mm-hmm. like, we need to talk more. You know, and I feel like sometimes I don't get enough of that. Um, like we were saying, the girl in the last last one said, like, "Oh yeah, one of you guys were on my show like a while ago, Hug and Pop." Yeah, I'm like, I don't re- really. We hmm. what? What? You know, and I can't remember that, or or somebody else was, and we were trying to figure that. But she's gonna send that to me. Um, you know, like, and it's just like that weird reconnection sometimes, right? Mm-hmm. So, okay. I like it. <laughs> okay, I like people in real life and. Meeting them, and I, I'm one of those people that will introduce myself, mm-hmm. even though I've talked to you a gajillion times online. I'm like, oh, hi, I'm Katie, or Dutters. It's mm-hmm. nice to meet you. Because I still. I person. keep forgetting to switch to myself when I'm talking. I'm too into <laughs> talking. This is why now when I'm at home and in the studio, you notice you see in the pictures and in the in the, in the things on my Instagrams where I really just have all these monitors in front of me. Basically, I've set it up so no matter where I look, if I have a guest, if I have something else, I see what's on the screen, so I don't forget to switch the thing. <laughs> That's the trick. Now I'm looking over here at you guys, and I'm forgetting the screen over here where we're editing. Uh, so there's a little trick there. Um, anything else, podcast wise? Uh, um, I, I, I ended, up, ended up participating too much, I think, this year. Uh, Brogan had a really good session on 
I guess mostly newsletters, but mostly talking to your audience. Or, and, and I'm going to, I'm going to break like minimize this the wrong way i know um but don't definitely check that out because it's definitely going to be on the google hangout his was this morning it was really good it was about getting through the distraction exactly Mm -hmm. exactly Um, i really i really did enjoy his Mm -hmm. he always gives a great great it's the most presentation it's the most notes i took this (laughs) (laughs) uh but but it's exactly like we i don't know i'm surprised how many people i talk to that again people there i'm like oh they're the person that got this as far Mm -hmm. as the working for myself creatively and finding clients and doing that thing they're like yeah i'm trying to figure out my message i realize i'm getting the wrong clients i'm like that's what i'm doing you know (laughs) everybody seems to be in that in that thing you know because i think there is also also kind of an informational overload we talked about this in our last session with the Insta stuff. Uh, it was brought up in a couple other sessions. You don't need to be on every platform. You know, you do not need to be on every platform. Um, I mean, I, I, I face this every week when I, I spend, it feels too much time posting my podcast because I'm posting it to here. Okay, I got to put the video here. Okay, I got to make sure it's an archive. I should start putting myself on Daily Motion because I'm kind of worried about YouTube. What if they get they, they get weird about stuff, right? Um, and... And, and especially when one time they took down one of my shows and I don't know why. And then, then they came back and I don't know why. So it's like, we're just going to put the shows over here just to be safe. And there's a whole audience over here. Um, you know, I feel like I'm getting kind of buried by all of that. And I think, you know, if you're just a person trying to get your thing out there or you're a business, that can be tough. You know, how many of us feel burned about investing so much time into Google Plus right now? darn google like you kind of should because it gets you in google but now you're just like well what are they going to do with it you know you ruined half of my youtube accounts <laughs> because you really <laughs> wanted me to use google plus for it now and now it doesn't matter and i'm living with the consequences but i mean that's a problem when you're kind of depending on all these other platforms so i think next year there needs to be a session called you are not in control and it's okay like you don't have to it's like think that you have every when single thing. When you don't thing. have to be everywhere. And yeah, I, think that's, that's what, I think that's one of the things that, that even I get overwhelmed with is is joining every social network and joining every place to get your handle on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then, to your point, you, you only have to come back if it gets popular. Yeah. You don't have that's to true. be everywhere at all times. I think the point being is you need to, you need to register that name and then go back as the people come in, you don't have you don't have to be the first person on every platform. You don't have to be. I don't know. It's it's a gamble. Yeah, okay, it, it, that's a gamble because um, you should. Tr- Oof, how do I put this? You should try to get on there to get your. You should get, get on spot there. Reserve. You yeah. should try it to see if it fits you. Mm-hmm. And like the like, it was so easy for me to say, okay, let's try Meerkat, let's try Periscope, because literally, like, let's put it up, put it here, while we're already doing this stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So, and automatically, as I, as I talked about, like, you were there for that. Uh, like, I got fifty, hundred people watching me just because it's a new platform in mine, and I'm one of the first guys doing a thing on it, mm-hmm. right? I I just did that, and I threw it up for the client too, because I'm like, well, you know, maybe some people will discover it, and I mean, you're really kind of taking a shot at the dark, in the dark at it, um, but or also maybe you're the one that says oh i do this thing if i have people watching me live and doing this or or whatever this platform is doing and doing this and 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 that clicks for you that might be the thing that clicked for you and then you become the meerkat star or the blah blah blue bap star or whatever the heck the next thing is celebrities celebrities, because they were they got on there they found their voice and they just kept doing it and i tell you what you know how hard it is if i was like you know i should figure out vine now blah 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 that's too late you know, unless I got something super compelling, mm-hmm. if I got a really good thing that people are going to glom onto, I, I, it's just no hope for me. I'm just going to be somebody else putting things on Vine, you know, mm-hmm. no matter what I'm doing. Point Park University Wi-Fi, what's up? Um, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> shout out. That's, that's how they keep their plug in the show for for uh, hosting. So, no, they've been all, they've actually been amazing. Uh, technical story. Breaking news of this morning that we can talk about how we didn't have internet. <laughs> and it's nothing like Point Park did or anything. Mm-hmm. Apparently, there was a power outage. Um, so there was a power outage and something about the way their system works here. They're like, yeah, we have no internet. And I guess they've been working on it since like last night. Oh, geez. So, and we got to call it like 8 o'clock. Like, so, I know you're coming in. This is the situation. Good. You didn't bother us to worry because worry while we were drinking. Thank you, Point Park. Um, <laughs> so, so we worked like that. I was like, okay, no Google Hangouts. I got to make sure I'm filming stuff. So I kind of prepared for that just in case. Um, 
and uh, and they got it up like right before we started going with the opening remarks. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I gotta say that's awesome. So you know, we were almost facing the how do we do an internet-based conference without internet? <laughs> so <laughs> everyone fires up the hotspot. That's, that's, that's what I'm and That's what I'm thinking. It's like those cell towers are just gonna get. Burning at <laughs> so we're always prepared. Always be prepared. It's like the, we're like those weird digital Boy Scouts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah, my yeah. hotspot. Let's do it. Doesn't matter. Where's I don't it? need Wi-Fi. I'm preparing for pod camp, so I gotta have my utility kit. Here's my <laughs> dongle. Here's my cord. Oh, do they have EGA or do they have HDMI? My backup battery. I'm my <laughs> backup battery. I'm my backup battery. Did I charge I the backup one. battery with the other backup battery? Um, and uh, do I have one of those charger USB Swiss Army things? That covers every type of Android and mm -hmm. USB and Lightning. Who's got a USB C? Somebody's gonna be fancy have a USB C. Um, <laughs> stupid new MacBooks. I didn't see any like, you know. It is, okay, what? here's a. Oh, you got something? No, go ahead. I was just, here's a side note because I remember. <laughs> do you remember when like the iPhone came out? You know, this is Pod Camp after all. Because, uh, but like the iPhone came out and there's like the one or two people that had it and everybody gathered around them the ipad came out and everybody gathered around them um and how that's kind of like broken down you mm -hmm. know i guess i brought google glass the one year i was that guy um and and uh you know there's not that anymore i think we finally settled into uh the tools are ubiquitous mm -hmm. and we're trying to figure out what the heck do i do with this thing you know, it's enough out there. We have enough samples out there. Um, the, the microphones are 50 bucks and they play straight on my laptop. I don't need a board. You guys ever, I don't know how many people have been to the old Awesome Cast Lives. You remember how much stuff I would drag in the door mm -hmm. just to do that thing? And now it's just, oh, cool, we got this stuff, you know? I mean, and this is enough. This is not, this is about on par with the quality I do in the studio. And just everybody's here, so it makes it so much easier. So he's gonna be the first to bring in some virtual reality, some VR. You may, I you see. I'm predicting ten years we'll ha we'll be doing VR uh, sessions or something. We won't even be all together. <laughs> there will be. No, but it'll be like podcasting. It'll be like holodeck from Star Trek. I'm saying no, no. You're gonna do video podcasting and VR because we'll still call it podcasting for some ungodly reason. Yeah. <laughs> because I get it's, uh, I have a client that's like like oh yeah we do video podcasts. I'm like. What are we doing here? But it's a it's a catchphrase. It's a whore, it's a Kleenex. You know, it's it's yeah. just it's so bad. You know, I want to listen to this podcast on my Android phone. Oh no, not really. You know, I, I, I but that that ship has sailed. The Lilo Port netcast conversation is too far gone, and we just this is what we have. So I'm gonna be the one in the VR like whatever sorts of chats and things just like poking the other person that I'm talking to like well you can't see me I'm giving you a mustache like just <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun I can't wait to... you know all the photo bombs and periscope photo I was trying to periscope oh like I was periscope bombing him the other day or I was trying to and he turned around and found me I'm like Damn it. you know <laughs> but the, 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 the VR photo bombness is gonna be amazing so. We're, we're all going to be sitting up here with goggles and not be able to see anything else. Just <laughs> what's in the what's in the VR session? Well, well, we were just talking about an app where you're like, you're me. It holds up to me, and this is my view. So now it's going to be like like a VR over Google Glass, and you're just like, this is what it's like to be on the other side of a podcast. I just want Welcome. VR food. Like, I want to just, food. what are you eating? I want to know what you're eating. What does it taste like? Is it worth eating? There you go. Or smells. Taste, Ooh. taste of taste of vision. Taste of smell vision. That's smell next. Who wants to invent that? For that us? Will tell me about the social impact of. Tasto smell o vision in my in our keynote to to PodCamp uh, PodCamp twenty five. Okay. Yeah, I'm way in the future. I, was going, I wasn't going that far. I was hoping we'd still be alive at this PodCamp. You know. So. No, we're just heads in jars and jars and little robot bodies. Well, we'll be uploading to the cloud. Right? Yeah. In the cloud. Hey, the rest of my life's in the cloud. Why Kill not me? me? Yeah. You know. That one's out of my tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> I've people? left for the cloud. <laughs> and the show cloud. title. <laughs> All right. Uh, where are we at? Uh, so <laughs> it's almost to the end here. Um, it, okay, you guys. We got a fun app. You have the a wire. fun app. Or yeah. it's not the wire, it's wire. wire. Which you learned here. Not the Tim. wire. The, yes. Not the wire. We can ask Justin Kanaki about the wire and if Baltimore's just like it uh, before he leaves. But other than that. Yeah, anybody you meet from Baltimore, ask him if it's like the wire. <laughs> 
he was talking about some some one of was in, a, in in Ireland or something, and they're they're like, oh, I'm from Baltimore, and they're like, oh, The Wire, in like England, and they're like, oh, we know The Wire. <laughs> no, that was Ireland. It was Ireland. Yeah. It was Ireland. Yeah, okay, it was yeah, Ireland. It was Ireland. Yeah, but still, it's just like they get the HBO over there. Wow. <laughs> the, H- like, the HBOs. The if you're H- gonna say the, I got in front the of it. HBOs, but you gotta put an accent to it, which I'm not gonna do. Here. Oh yes, please do an Irish accent. No, no. Uh, so we have an app. So we have an app. <laughs> so ahead. what is this thing? So you guys were kind of uh, going on this thing. So it's it's kind of like a Skype meets Hangout meets chat meets I can make a phone call. It pretty much does everything. That you Should we do write a, down a checklist from a communication of from a communication standpoint? It's it's I think made by the people that made Skype, mm-hmm. um, and it it kind of reintroduces the whole the whole theme. You can add people into a conversation. Um, you have a friends list. You can send photos. Um, I'm gifts. Getting, you gifts. can send gifts. Your Giphy. Wisdom, Which, wow. Which is the most important thing ever. <laughs> well, now, how did you add the GIF? Is now, this... I, wait, okay. Yeah. So you just... <laughs> this turned into a really interesting... Wait, 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 wait. So is, it's wire? So, is this the Zeta product, project yes. so Swiss? As soon as you type in a word, like I typed in the word, yay. Okay. And then on the side here, it says GIF. GIF. And then it pulls up one for me. Uh, and then you, there's a little thing in the corner that you can refresh and get a different one for it. You're not on this. You're not cool, Nick. We, like, yay! <laughs> so I'm still, I'm still kind. Of, well, I'm trying to download it right now. So, so imagine like, a, like a Skype or even iMessage for that matter. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where you can add multiple people into a conversation. You can send each other gifts. You can make a voice call, which I'm interested in the voice thing. Yeah, because the um, odd, we've been told by Tim that the audio yes, quality the audio is fantastic. Quality is fantastic. Um, so I, I don't. It's it's a very it's it's a very nice app. It's aesthetically pleasing. It's easy to. It, I I just really like it. Is it iPhone only? I no. It's Android too. <laughs> it's Android as well. <laughs> oh gosh, you guys are, are you guys on calling it? each other like on yeah. the app? Now. Oh, guess what? And now I'm on it. Wait, well, yeah, well, everybody's... The same oh, I'm, call- I'm getting called, too. But I can't right. figure... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Wait, there I am. <laughs> this is really weird. <laughs> that is all. No, no, serious. Chat, voice, conferencing, all in the same conversation. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. so, like, so, see, like, we're all in this conversation, and you can hear it on everyone's phone in the room. Okay, show, show, the, show the camera. Show the camera. Let's, let's put Which, let's which camera? Oh, well, it's all right here. <laughs> hey, let's do this one. All right, since people in the room can see it, you guys can see it on the video. That was the gif uh, I said. We got Charlie dancing. That's pretty so cool. So you can see, like, up here at the top. <laughs> yeah. You can hear, see who's in the conversation. Okay. And then you can see there's, like, the, the chat, the chat going by. And, and it, it's just, it's very, I think it's very easy to use. It's pretty intuitive. And, and it kind of has all forms of media. Okay. And it's weird um, because I'm getting, I'm getting like this feedback. It archives the phone conversation. It archives the phone, phone conversation? Uh, it would be I, oh, it would be interesting. interesting. We'll have to find out. Okay. Like, Can I send a GIF while on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be the thing we're playing with, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm signing up on, on the show like I usually do because I know that's him. completely compelling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't friend me. Set a picture. Wire. There you go. So it's wire. So what? Okay. So what? Like, is this a replacement for uh, your Google Hangout kind of that does a little bit more? Is that what we're, we're kind of looking at this thing for? So I turned me on to this at lunch today, and yes, I'm thinking it is. I'm lunch. thinking it replaces Hangout chat, like it replaces any text-based chat, instant messaging. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's a kind of Swiss Army knife of yeah. whatever you want to use it for. Yeah. They're still building it, so it started out audio, and they just keep adding stuff. Yeah, it's really, really well done. Mm-hmm. And awesome. then the neat thing is, is Chilla got a notification on his Apple Watch. Yeah, so I get notifications on here if wait, someone is someone it, calls. Wait, or, so the the app power has Apple Watch capability. Well, the notif- well, yeah, because oh, notifications. 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 Okay, so I'll get it on my Pebble Watch too. You'll get it on your Pebble. That's awesome. That's great. We're always connected. There you go. Anything else we from can, this? What, how can we can we do another pod? Um, another session another next pod year. Camp? Yeah, another podcast. <laughs> we do another session. We just pod said camp there's another podcast where um, this is how you don't get sick of each other. <laughs> After being connected in every way possible, isn't that the thing? Because I mean, we've I, we've we've had we've been parts Speaking of like just with iMessage uh, that we have to wrap here right now. Um, Speaking but, uh, of spending too much time with people, yeah, no, it's her again. <laughs> um, but well, the, I mean, how many times will like iMessage or some other platform or Google Hangout or you get added to a Facebook Messenger and it just goes on forever? 
and you're just like, I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> and, and, and it's, it's so easy. You can save the gifts to your device. Hmm? Yeah. I never have you in my address book for these things. So, uh, I have no friends. I have no address book. You have no address book? Who puts an address book? <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I just go on note, Twitter and say, is anyone there? So this has been your PodCamp Pittsburgh Live Awesome Cast. So I'm getting the, the high sign to get the heck out of here. Um, so Speaking of spending too much time with you. At K Dutters on the Twitter. Hi. Check out her Periscope. We didn't even get in too much into it on the session, but you're, you're Periscoping zombies lately. Yes. But I, I guess they're all gone because it's 24 hours later. But <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go check out my I'm sure there will be later. more things as we get to the Halloween season. That's at Chilla yeah. on the Twitter as well. Yes, John Chilla on the Facebooks. On the Facebooks. We have Apple announcement dates, maybe, kind of. Maybe, sort of, kind of, sort of. And I'm like, sort of. going to be a Wednesday. At Sorgatron on the Twitter. Good. Good. I can watch it while I'm just posting podcasts in our. Thank you so much. It's been your awesome That's a wrap. Guest. It's PodCamp Pittsburgh X. We'll see you at PodCamp Pittsburgh 11. Excellent. <laughs> uh, you have been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.